Good morning and welcome back to the One Celtic Fans View this morning where you get your morning Celtic news. Now it was interesting that Celtic put out a video this morning where they were speaking to the one and only Scott Allen. Remember him? Yeah, player that signed for Celtic. But he's been talking about the current Celtic manager, Brendan Rodgers, and obviously he was here under Brendan Rodgers. They decided to go out alone, but he speaks about what Brendan Rodgers spoke about before the beginning of the season, the invincible season. And um, people think that, listen to what he has to say, because it's quite interesting. We've drawn groups and we've got a sheet of paper with all Celtics records on it and most goals scored. And I remember us going to write, what do you think ones are? Uh, that you could do, like go the whole season unbeaten, and you, naturally when you see that, you know, the full season unbeaten, <laughs> and we're all sitting there, right, we'll go for that, we'll go for that, most goals ever scored in a season type of thing, I will go for it anyway, and I think there was two or three of the things that were on the sheet that had said, the records, that, that they actually uh, broke this uh, broke that year, the boys, so it wasn't like it was, it hadn't been spoken yeah. about, and people think sometimes football clubs you don't speak about things, we had the sheet of paper, or he was wanting to break records. That, yeah, that that, that's a fact. He, he did, and that was in that was in the July. Yeah, was that just a- that was in the July before we even kicked a ball when they were at pre-season. Brendan Rodgers that year wanted to break records. I wonder what Brendan Rodgers said to the players this year when he came at Celtic. He did say, he has said in the past, he said that it's, it's a different feel about Celtic this time. You've got to remember at that time Celtic were still on the road to nine in a row. He came on at Celtic at a completely different time. Celtic had obviously won a double with Ange and then won the treble. So Celtic were a bit more successful than they were under Ronnie Dyla at the time. And I've got to say, under the Ronnie Dyla years, don't get me wrong, they were a fantastic time to be a Celtic fan, especially for away tickets. Um, we got many, many tickets at that time. And it was a brilliant, absolute brilliant time to be going to home and away games. And then especially when Brendan Rodgers came into Celtic as well. Uh, tickets did go through the roof and it made it a little bit harder but it was interesting to hear scott allen on the celtic podcast this morning if you want to click on the celtic and uh, youtube and then go watch the podcast there it's a rather interesting one it's long it's about an hour long so yeah that's why i'm a bit late this morning because i've been watching that but uh, fair play to celtic and scott allen for putting that one out right let's get to some celtic news when it comes to january signings um we're going to be a bit his- Historical this morning on the one Celtic fans view. Um, yeah, when, it, when we look at the fact that we're bringing in Nicholas Kuhn, the club strategy over the last 10, 20 years, obviously, has been um, has been a bit different. Um, when you look at it, over the last 20 years, right, Celtic in January have brought in 70 new faces in the January. Signings like Chris Commons came in from Derby County, Robbie Keane, can you remember when Robbie Keane came in? Um, that was if you're old enough to remember that. Um, and you look at Craig Ben, likes of Craig Bellamy, but then more recently, you've had Dyson Myra, Matt O'Reilly, and then Giorgio Samaras. Whatever happened to him? Um, I can remember a game where I thought Samaras should never play for Celtic again when we were at Hamden against Ross County and we get beat at Ross County. And Samaras spent most of that game flapping about on the sidelines, but he did pick up his career at Celtic Samaras and he went on to score an absolute cracker of a goal at. Ibrox, and I was there that day, and I've got to say, it was an absolutely fantastic goal. And he did rectify his Celtic career to a certain extent, Sam Ross. He went on to be a crack, cracking player. And then you've got the likes of Michael Lustig, Ki Sung Young, amid other types of players that came in in January. With some people that have came in in January have been absolute garbage. Some have came in on loan. And then you've players like Lee Griffiths and Chris Commons who came in to be integral to the way that Celtic went on over the next couple of years. And Lee Griffiths was an absolutely fantastic hunt scalper. Anyway, the, with the arrival of the Nicholas, Nicholas Kuhn, the German steps off the plane yesterday. He walked up to Celtic, but well, I never walked out. He got the taxi up to Celtic Park. Um, he'd be at Lennox Town this morning going through everything. He passed his medical yesterday. What type of player will he be for Celtic? It cost of just around about £3 million plus add-ons. It's going to be interested to see what position he plays and who he pushes out the team ultimately would they pushing someone out the team or will someone be sold i don't think anybody will be, any of the wingers will be sold this window i think that we will lose wingers in the summer um the one in particular i think we'll lose but that's all in the future that's all in the future we look at the things that's happening just now celtic are still trying to look at a goalkeeper now there's a lot of news came out yesterday the fact that liverpool are now willing to let their number two goalkeeper go but 
it's how much for her for how much money because let's face it her our celtic i mean celtic are still favorites to grab the guy um kellyer but um it looks like it would be until the summer at least and then will celtic be able to afford what liverpool are wanting for him anyway celtic have also been linked with another goalkeeper an icelandic goalkeeper um I'm not too sure about that one. We're going to get linked to others. It all depends on Benjamin Segrist leaving the club in this window for any other keeper to come in. I can't see us bringing in another keeper and having four keepers at the club. Benji Segrist is the one that, if you look at his Instagram profile, before they came back to training yesterday, he was in the gym when he was on holiday quite a lot and uh, obviously proven his fitness. Now, one player that is obviously on his way at the club is the one and only Rocco Vata. That seems to be picking up a lot of pace. And it's, uh, there looks like there could be a little bidding battle for Rocco Vata. So there's not much more Celtic news kicking about this morning. Obviously, the, the big one from yesterday is Liverpool are now look like they might let their goalkeeper go. The goalkeeper uh, that's number two for them looks like they might let him go in the summer. And it's just a case of will Celtic be able to afford them? Afford them? Well, the fact that Scott Allen shares his inside story on the his Celtic transfer and his career, and he regrets leaving Celtic to go out on loan uh, to go down and join Stubbs. Um, he said he, he did say that he wish he had stayed that season, but he didn't get picked the first game of the season, and he thought he was 24 year old and he just needed to get out of the club and get playing football. He said if I'd stuck around that season, he says there was a few injuries players that were in the same position as me did get their chance. He said, I feel that Brendan, Brendan didn't want him to go. And he said that, he was honest about that. He said, Brendan didn't want him to leave. He wanted him to stay here and fight out for his position. But he was a pig-headed 24-year-old, as you all are at that age, and he just wanted to go and play football on a weekly basis. Another one that's kicking around this morning, Kenny Miller. Gee, I'm not even going to mention what Kenny Miller said. He reckons that Lyndon Dykes would be really interested if Celtic came calling for him. Scotland star played a key role in Stevie Clark's obviously bid to reach 2024, the Euros this summer. Who's going to the Euros this summer? I wonder if I should go. Do some videos. Would you be interested in that? Anyway, that's for another day and another video. And on that note, Lyndon Dykes for Celtic, really? Have a fantastic day, Celtic fans all around the world. I subscribe to one Celtic fans view. Hail, hail. <laughs> hail, hail. See you later. All right, thanks a lot. See you later. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the